Hi guys, I'm back today and I wanted to show you my Live doll collection, which is really small, but I never really got into Live dolls, but I really like that they have really cool fashions and that they're wig dolls. So I have bought them before, which I bought this one for her wig, but then I couldn't take it off her because I think it fitted her perfectly but these wigs actually fit onto the teen moxies which are a bigger doll so that was pretty much why I got into them but now that I really look at them they are really a cute fun doll to play with um <laughs> they're very articulated they can't do what a made to move how the made to move can cross her legs and sit like in a yoga pose or something but they still are really cool. They sit really nicely. Some people I don't think like the joints. But um, I'll just give you a more close up look. And I had her, so she's in her original outfit. I think I got her on clearance somewhere. Probably Walmart when these were going out. But I think that she's really cute. I love the color of her eyes and the lipstick and the purple pink hair. I'm a big fan of colored hair. And then with these three dolls, I go to that Barbie doll show every year. Not Barbie, but everything. It's mainly antique dolls, but sometimes you'll find some really cute finds. So I got these dolls for $5 a piece, which I think is awesome. And they actually came with an extra wig, but they're not the greatest. So I think the person that sold them was probably buying them for the wigs too. <laughs> and so I'll show you after this um, what came with them. So you have this one first. She has a little jacket and see, I can tell it's a collector because they've not been unattached like the little plastic thing. So this is her and I don't know what her name is so they don't have rooted eyelashes they're painted I thought they had rooted maybe I guess I'm wrong on that and then she's wearing jeans and boots so she's really cool um, the wigs just pull off there is a hole in the back of the head to attach the wig so it won't fall which I think is a good idea and then there's this one, and I love her green eyes. I'd actually bought from this lady before some of these, and then I sold them on eBay, and then I regretted it. So when I went back and she had more, I was so happy. Because <laughs> I regretted selling them, because you can't find these anymore. Maybe on eBay. So there's that one. I think she's so cute. That outfit is cute enough. Nothing special, but... I love the shoes. <laughs> and then this one's probably another one of my favorites. I love the blue eyes. I have blue eyes, so that's probably why. And I'm a blonde. <laughs> it's funny how you gravitate to what you look like. And so that's why I'm glad they've got all different ethnicities because I think it's only fair that little girls can get a doll that looks like them because I know I always want to even as a kid so here we go um I love her little shirt and I actually had this one before when I I sold it on eBay I should see which ones I had I don't really remember but no she was one of it I think I had three or four others maybe it's a bummer I sold them <laughs> Um, so this one, the purse is still attached, so once again I can tell it's a collector, and this purse is quite cute, it is actually open so you can put stuff in. Little skirt, and looks like her leggings need a wash. <laughs> and then she's got the little sneakers, I think she came with sneakers, she had on boots, but I just changed them to the sneakers. So then it came with these, um, accessories. They were all divided up. I thought this was a Mycene thing, so I don't know if it goes with them. And I have other ones of these. So there's this little purse. This like a side saddle purse. A saddle bag, I guess. And then this one. And then there was another outfit like hers. 
But the jeans are missing, so they must have kept the jeans. Got rid of the outfit. And then these were the wigs that they all came with. This one would probably go well with her. And then you just got the same, it's kind of the same like this girl maybe. So she must have had a really neat wig. And they decided they didn't want this plain old wig. Which I don't blame them. I like the colored wigs. And it comes with this little stand for your wigs. So that's kind of cool and unique. Um, a way of displaying them. So I'll just show you how the wig comes off or how it looks basically when it's off and I can't get this one off. I think it's attached. <laughs> I think it might be still attached. Sorry, I can't quite do it with two hands, with one hand. Okay, so there she is. Um, this is the blonde. I just took the blonde wig off. And you can see the plastic inside which goes into her head, this little thing. And I'll show you the back. That's the hole. <laughs> Poor girl, she's got a hole in her head. So that's how it looks without a wig. I'm betting that a lot of people customize these. So I just wanted to show you. I thought it was kind of fun. Something different to Barbie, but still in kind of the same size as Barbie but they got bigger heads. I never really got into them but looking at them now they kind of like the MC Square dolls don't you think? Which they have really cute outfits too. So um yeah <laughs> I might end up getting into those but I'm trying really hard not to because I do not need another doll to collect. <laughs> Okay guys, well have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. I just changed the two wigs on this girl here in the red and this one here with the green eyes and I think she looks much better with the green hair it just changes her and it matches her eyes I think they look so cute I think I'm obsessed right now with live dolls this is a problem guys <laughs> thanks for watching have a nice day